Astronomy to GCSE, Topic 4.1, Our Galaxy, the Milky Way. So 1. What is the appearance of the Milky Way? The galaxy we live in is called the Milky Way. Once your eyes are dark adapted, if you look with your naked eyes at the sky, then you'll see a fuzzy, milky band across the sky. That's why it's called the Milky Way. If you get a pair of binoculars to look at the Milky Way, then you'll be able to see some brighter points that will be visible in the fuzziness. If you look at the Milky Way with a small telescope, then you'll be able to see more stars than you will with binoculars. 2. What are we looking at when we see the Milky Way? Our galaxy is shaped a bit like two fried eggs back to back. So when we see the Milky Way, we're actually looking through the plane of our galaxy. Because there are so many dim stars, we see a fuzzy, milky light. Okay, so the size and shape of our galaxy. So we know it looks like this, which is sort of two fried eggs back to back. So how big is our galaxy? Well, remember the parsec. Well, a kiloparsec is 1,000 parsecs, and the diameter of the Milky Way is 30 kiloparsecs. If you answer an exam question, remember not only that 30 kiloparsecs is the diameter, not the radius of the Milky Way, but also the other thing to watch out for is that you answer 30 kiloparsecs. Don't tick the megaparsecs box, because that's way too big. The next point is where is the location of our sun? The sun is two thirds from the centre of the Milky Way, which means it's 10 kiloparsecs out from the centre. Remember you're wanting two thirds of the radius of the Milky Way, because you're wanting it from the centre. Okay, it doesn't matter which side you put the sun on, as long as you place it in only one of the sides, so I'll be leaving the left one. The disk of the Milky Way is a relatively thin plane. It's around 1 to 2 kiloparsecs thick. The spiral arm of the galaxy contains stars and lots of dust and gas. These clouds are a bit like nebulae, and they make seeing through the spiral arms more difficult. These dust clouds in the spiral arms are also the site of star formation. The bulge in the centre of the Milky Way contains a supermassive black hole at the centre. Globular clusters are tight balls of stars gravitationally bound to each other, and they are located around the galaxy in an area called the halo. 3. Mapping the galaxy with 21 centimetre radio waves. When astronomers try to map the structure of the spiral arms of our galaxy, they have difficulty. Remember I said that there was all that gas and dust in the spiral arms? Well, this dust is opaque to visible light, so visible light cannot get through and is stopped. One wavelength of the electromagnetic spectrum that does get through are the 21 centimetre radio waves. As these can penetrate the dust, astronomers use this wavelength of radio waves to measure the structure of the spiral arms, and using Doppler shift they can measure how it's rotating. For GCSE you shouldn't need it, but if you want to find out more about 21 centimetre radio waves and why they penetrate the dust, then have a look at this link which I'll pop in the description. That's the end of Astronomy to GCSE 4.1, Our Galaxy, the Milky Way. Thank you very much for listening. See you next time.